that I was on a rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on rocky top, ain't no telephone bill. I have been incredibly blessed to have great um, parents, had great grandparents, and um, three older brothers that beat the crap out of me. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we learned how to play basketball in a hayloft. And um, it was uh, probably the best thing that ever happened to me and probably the only reason that I decided that I was going to fight back and be a basketball player myself. I received a letter from Dr. Helen B. Watson of the University of Tennessee asking me if I would be willing to coach the women's basketball team. All Dr. Watson offered me was $250 a month. <laughs> I mean, I was bouncing checks all over the place. I don't have anything. I want to square up. Now I've got penetration, I got a kick out, and they're working out of that weak side triangle. We've got to get them, the, give them the freedom, you know, to play. And, and I, I'm seeing that they, they are demonstrating the fact that they'll, they'll make plays, understand that they can't just step out there, put on the big orange uniform, and win. And that's a good thing. All right. Am I smart enough to be here? Yes, you are. You bet. Right there. Another one. Right here. That's good. Um, I came home that night, and <laughs> my, my poor dogs, they were there. I was I turned on the TV. And uh, Sports Center had me on there just blasting them. <laughs> and, and both my dogs went to the back of the house. Hell, if anybody ought to know that, you should know that. You both are great three point shooters. You love it when people leave you open. Don't leave anybody open. We have great expectations. But they have great expectations. It's more about what they want. You know, we're always going to want to uh, to go out and uh, and win every game. You have to look at the history and and you know where have we been? You know, we, we're trying to get to a Final Four, and and so we we have our focus is very narrow, and and we know what what it is that we want to accomplish. Uh, is just a tremendous privilege and to know that all of you you know y you represent the greatest fans in the women's game I thought about my late father and I know he's smiling because he was a man that brought out the best in all five kids and uh, I told mom last night I said you know, I wish Dad could be here, and uh, she said, well, I'm coming real soon. <laughs> Every person who sees this can remember what she stands for. They will have a Pat Summit teaching moment, and nothing could make my mom smile more. Thank you so much, and God bless. Every day, um, I'm doing puzzles and everything I can um, to just make sure that, that I'm doing the right things and I'm going to go to work every day I can. You know, it's never a good time, but you have to find the time that you think is the right time, and that, that is now. Uh, I never thought I would be diagnosed as I was, but, um, you know, I want to continue um, to, to be involved and you know I, uh, I'm passionate about it and you know hopefully we can uh, you know have a have a good fight and uh, that's exactly what I want to do. For me uh, today it's not about me it's about everyone out here that loves the University of Tennessee. Rocky Top you always
always be home, sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Woo! Rocky Top, Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know that I deserve this, but I'm going to accept it.